Do you have a newer Android cell phone that charges really fast at home, but when you get in your car and use your regular cigarette lighter adapter, it charges really slow? Well, chances are you might have a cell phone that supports Qualcomm Quick Charge, and someone sent me a car adapter that we can review. So before we actually get to the review, how about a quick refresher on USB charging through cell phones? Now normally, when you plug in your regular micro USB adapter, you're plugging into a normal USB charging port, which supports maybe up to 2, 2.1 amps at 5 volts, which if I do the math in my head real quick on the spot, it's just over 10 watts. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, just over 10 watts maximum. On realistically, you usually see about 8 watts. Like I see on my S5, probably about 6 to 7 watts charging. It's usually about 5 volts at 1.5 amps, roughly. So I get about 7.5 watts of charging power into my cell phone. Now the problem is, cell phones keep getting bigger and bigger batteries. Well, the bigger capacity is great, but you don't have any way to throw any more amperage or wattage because you've maxed out the USB cable. If you put any more amps through it, you're going to heat up the wire and you're going to fry something in the process. So the way to get around that is to kick up the voltage. But you can't put 9 or 12 volts on a normal USB port unless you have something to negotiate with it. That's what happens with Qualcomm. They do a lot of the Snapdragon processors, which you'll find in the, I believe, the, and, um, the Droid. Droid 2 Turbo, wherever it is, they have it, and Samsung uses them in the American versions. Um, in the S5, S7, the Note 4, those are just a few for examples. Unfortunately, the S5 is too old, it does not support Qualcomm, uh, the Quick Charge. But the S7, the S7 Edge, the Note 4, um, I think the LG G6 also supports it, and there's two major versions of it. There's version 2, which a lot of people have now, especially in the Samsung phones, and there's version 3, which changes a little bit, and I'll get to that in a second. Version 2 gives you three steps. It supports 5 volts up to 3 amps, 9 volts up to 2 amps, and 12 volts up to 1.5 amps. So 12 volts at 1.5 amps, that's 12, that's like 18 watts right there. So go 7.5 watts to 18 watts, you can put a lot more power into a battery, but your phone has to be set up for it for it to actually work. Now the cell phone that comes to mind that supports QC3 is the Asus Zenfone 3. Really expensive phone, really nice phone, but it does support version 3. And the only difference between version 2 and version 3, version 2 gives you steps from 5 volts to 9 volts to 12 volts. That's all QC2 does. QC3 expands on that slightly, and instead of having just those three steps, you get steps in 0.1 volt increments. So you can have 5.1, 5.2, 9.6, 9.7, 11.7, whichever. Depends upon how they set up the cell phone and what they find is the best balance between voltage, amperage, and charging efficiency. So that's the only difference between two and three. So now that I got all that quick jargon taken care of, and I probably bored half my viewers already. Let's get to the actual review. Now this was sent in, and this says it's a QC 3.0 smart fast charger car charger. And conveniently, I guess, it's in camo and it's themed. So on the back of it, um, it just says Qualcomm Quick Charge 3, input voltage 12 or 24 volts, and output, as I said before, five volts at three amps maximum, 9 volts at 2 amps, and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. And they also have charger efficiency, 88 to 92 percent. So if that's true, this thing really shouldn't heat up that much in your little cigarette lighter socket. So it comes in this little thing. And it does not really come with an instruction booklet. It's just foam, box, and the unit itself. You really don't need instructions for a cigarette lighter adapter. You plug it into the cigarette lighter and you plug in the USB port. So, if we look at the unit itself, yes, it is shaped like a bullet. 
I don't know why. I guess that's just the way they themed it. It is pretty cool though, and I have played with it a little bit. The one feature I do like on it, where a regular cigarette light adapter has this like little nub that has a little bit of squeeze into it when you push in. Have you ever noticed that it usually ends up vibrating itself out a little bit and you lose the power? This one has about a half an inch of travel into it. The bullet tip actually goes in that far. So when you push it in, it can handle a fair amount of vibration without losing contact with the positive terminal inside your cigarette lighter adapter. And the two negative sides, the two little nubs that they have here, they're tighter than average. It takes a fair amount of force to actually press these down. And the case is made out of T304 stainless steel and printed on it is the Qualcomm 3 and the three voltage ratings that it has in here. And made in China! Now, for the regular USB adapter, the only thing that I've noticed that's different really is it's an orange. Whether orange actually is denotes that it's a quick charge or it's just this supplier happened to find orange USB connectors, I'm not sure. So there's really not much to show for the unit itself. It's definitely got some weight and heft to it. I'm not sure if that's from the circuitry inside of it, because I really don't want to pop this one open, or it's just from the T304 stainless steel. But I definitely feel like I could drop this a few times and it's not going to get damaged. So let's take it out to the car. I got my friend's S7 that I can borrow, and we can actually test the QC 2.0 on this. Yes, QC 2.0 is, or 3.0 is actually backwards compatible with 2.0 with no problems whatsoever. So this will work with 2.0 and 3.0 phones. So let's go outside and check it out and see if it actually does what it's supposed to or if this is just a really expensive piece of metal. Okay, so we're in the car now for testing and I'm borrowing my friend's S7 over here since it supports QC charging, specifically QC 2.0. And right now I'm plugged into a regular 2.1 amp USB adapter and you can see it's running at 5.04 volts and 1 amp and 5.4 watts of power. That's about what you can get out of regular USB to charge an S7. Now next to it is the new one. Here it is right here. Plug it back in and you get a really dim little blue light up top here. I'm not sure if the camera's even going to pick it up. It says it's got power. So let's move this unit on over and see what QC 2.0 actually does. Let's see if I can twist a little bit and get the screen. Okay, so we're at 9.2 volts, about 1.4 amps, and at this time, we're at 13.9 watts. It's actually still climbing. I saw 14.7 there for a second. Must be adjusting itself, but either which way, that's more than twice the amount of power that I will get out of the regular USB one. Now, let's test it. Let's pull it off of the S7 and put it on my S5, which does not support QC 2.0, or any QC for that fact, and see what it does. Okay, this is really hard one-handed. Okay, so now we're plugged into my S5, which does not support QC. And if we look back at the screen here, once I get a good focus, we're at 5.14 volts at 1.16 amps and just under 7 watts, roughly. And comparing that to the regular unit. And let's see if it performs just as good as a regular 2.1. And give it a few seconds to adjust. 5.04 volts at 1.16 amps. We're only getting 5, 6 watts. Okay, it's still coming up a little bit. So after being out in the car and testing this with both my friend's S7 and my S5, I definitely like this unit. It works really well. It wasn't even getting warm to the touch at all after running current through for 20 minutes or so. So it's definitely energy efficient. It's not wasting power. The other thing that was nice, the under load voltage is a little bit higher than the average charger. It's not really out of spec, but that extra little voltage translated into a little bit more power going into my S5, which was great. And you saw on the QC 2.0, it definitely kicked it up. It's more than double. So when you have an S7 
and you buy the unit, it usually comes with a house charger. If you look on your house charger, because I don't have one available right now, I bet you it has a QC logo on it somewhere saying, hey, this circuitry is built into the wall unit and it can detect when it's plugged into something that it supports it and it will up the voltage and does exactly what this unit does. This is just made for your car. So I'm not sure if I really want to uh, hold on to this unit for myself for when I upgrade to an S7 and I can still use it in my car now for my S5 or give it to my friend because he was nice enough to let me use his S7. But regardless, if you want to get one yourself, since it is actually a good unit, it tests out nicely, you can find the link down in the description to Amazon, the person who actually sent this in for a review. Uh, it's sold by Conlin, and right now, as of time of making this video, their normal price is $17, but they're on sale for $10.99. So, on Prime as well, too. So, if you have a Prime account, great, free shipping and everything. But, yeah, $11, and you got a good charger that'll last you for quite some time. 